Hello everyone, this is a continued version of part 2 of my review of the Kyocera event. And I just finished up with the speed test, uh, and that varies uh, from uh, where you live, obviously. I'm going to run another speed test just so you guys can get another idea if you didn't watch my last video all the way. And here's the download speed. Which is pretty average. Actually, that's really good for 8 o'clock at night, I guess. Because all the little girls are probably texting their boyfriends and watching YouTube videos of Drake or somebody. Okay. Well, that's almost done. About So you can see there that the download and upload speed are pretty much the same. And this is... Uh, in South Texas, as you can see there, McAllen, Texas, that's my area. Okay, so speed tests aren't great, but as said, it depends on where you live. Let me go back to the home. Uh, let's run a quadrant standard test. And just so you guys know, this phone does take screenshots. Uh, if you don't know how and you have this phone, it's, you're going to hit the power button and the volume down button. Let me try doing that right now. There you go. So uh, I did take a screenshot of a quadrant standard test that I got earlier, and there I think that's probably the the last thing I took benchmark I took actually. So let's try again. Oh, and quadrant standard crashed. I guess because it never closed the first time. Uh, the first time I ran this benchmark, the this phone actually scored really good. It scored maybe, well, not really good for a low end phone, but for a low end phone to score over 2000, I was very impressed. It was about 2400. Um, I've reviewed other low end phones like the T Mobile Concord, which is has, I, I wouldn't say almost identical specs, but I mean, it's, a, it's another low end phone also, which costs actually $20, $20 more. And the the benchmark tests on that phone scored less than a thousand it's i think it scored maybe like 700 so i mean for for this phone to score over 2000 and it be under 100 dollars is actually really really good Let's see what else can i think about this phone uh oh yeah i guess while this is going let me talk about uh Virgin Mobile's ID or Sprint ID. Um, normally, when you activate this phone, the phone phones usually download uh, Sprint ID packs automatically. And if you don't, if you're not too sure what that is, Sprint ID basically it it changes the layout of what your phone looks like. So it'll automatically download apps for you and things that you don't want so j just keep that in mind that the it, if you're if you don't want things to change on your phone try not to accept the download and luckily for me the download failed for the sprint id because the 3g down here is so bad so i don't have to worry about that um but just keep that in mind anyone that has virgin mobile that has already an android phone uh should know that Sprint ID kind of sucks, but if you're not into theming the phone yourself and you like it, then, then you know, good for you, I guess. Okay, let's take a look here. Quadrant standard test done. And this is normally the only one I do. I don't usually do the N221 or the Geekbench ones because this is the one that most people use. And as you can see there, this device scored 2144. I think the highest I got in is maybe like 2600 when I got this phone. And, you know, I mean, that's not bad. As you can see there, it's like third to the bottom from the top of the list, from which is the HTC One X. And, you know, other phones like the Nexus, the Note 2, the Galaxy S3. And then from there, you got tablets and so forth. But 20, 2100 is respectable. For an $80 phone, you can't, you know, you just, I mean, it's not bad at all. And just so you guys know, I've had this phone on for about two days without having to charge it, mostly because I don't use it, you know, outside of my house. So, I mean, it's 
on standby mode and it's barely at 45 percent so that's really good and like for the battery life if you guys are concerned about battery life i mean if it, on standby this phone it works pretty good okay so let's go on to apps and games i guess as the last part of this um as you can see there this is the my how i laid out my phone and actually these little bubbles are like things so so you you can drag apps and whatnot into the into each other so if i wanted to if i were to bring another app out like let like let's say for social media like let's say i wanted to bring out you know google chrome or whatever i'll bring out the browser you can lay that out like that right and you can just drag it into one of the other folders i'll drag it into social media and it'll 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 show up there with the others like instagram and youtube now about the apps uh for for normal apps like twitter facebook instagram uh youtube things like that i didn't really have a problem as long as you're running over wi-fi if you're using sprint's 3g network you're gonna get a little bit of delay and lag Twitter, I just didn't seem to have a problem uh, when using the 3G. Instagram, you really need a Wi-Fi connection. And Instagram does work. So for those people that keep asking me, does Instagram work on this phone? Yes, it does work. But you, uh, the camera freezes if you try taking a photo in-app. So it's best to take a picture with the camera and then upload it from the gallery to Instagram. Because if not, then it, you might crash You might crash the phone and it'll reboot on you. That's happened to me once, I think. And there you go. You can just see the widget. I have, uh, you know, there's my Gmail widget. I don't really have a lot of, on this phone. One thing I did love about this phone and I forgot to mention is the music player, actually. I mean, it comes with the stock music player. But, like, let's take a look here. If I... If I play a song, and then we'll go, anyone familiar with the Big Bang Theory? I'm going to play their theme song. Okay, I'm playing with the speaker. Okay, and this is what I like about it. Look, watch. When you turn off the screen and turn the screen back on, you can automatically change the song from the lock screen. And I'm not too, I'm not too sure if that's an ice cream sandwich feature, because uh, I have I've had other phones with ice cream sandwich and I don't I don't recall it having this feature. But speaker is very good. You know, let me pause it. Let me pause it from there. Okay, and the earpiece volume from this phone also when you have headphone headphones connected and I tried it with just earbuds worked very well also and I guess before we finish off here overall the music quality was great if you if you like the stock uh, music app you can use that or you can download another one let's try a game just last but not least to show you guys and this is temple run part two I'm normally download part one but temple run two has a little better graphics so let me see if I can get this one to sh to start. And you might notice it being a little choppy. And excuse me if I'm playing really bad. No thanks. Okay. Mm, but I'm holding the camera well. And you're gonna see a little bit of choppiness. Go right. Oh, it's catching up. Oh snap. Let me move them up. Ah, okay. So I hit the thing, as you can see there. And, you know, I mean, it's not perfect. I mean, it seems to run pretty smooth. As long as you don't have a lot of apps running in the background, you should be okay. Okay, now, going to... Rec would I recommend this phone to you if you were... Here, let me see this really quick. 
Oh, that's the screenshot. And on the ta on the on the little taskbar on top, you can just if you want to clear it out, you can either press X up there, or you can just clear it out. But as you can see there, yeah. Okay. Anyway, so would I recommend this phone to you uh, if you're a first time Android or smartphone user? Yes, I would recommend this phone to you because the price is really great. Uh, let's say you have a 16 year old kid and they need a cell phone and you don't want to get them an iPhone 5 because you know they're just going to drop it all over the floor and lose it and you don't want them to lose a five six hundred dollar phone uh, this is a pretty good phone uh, for the price uh, especially on the no on the no contract uh, uh, data plans that Virgin Mobile has the 35 the 45 and the fifty dollar fifty five dollar plans uh, you really can't beat that especially since you could if you lose it or break this phone it's easily replaceable uh, for the older people that uh, are just getting into smartphones also I'd recommend this as well if you don't want anything too fancy and you want a phone to learn on this is a great phone so uh, thanks for watching the videos uh, you can follow me on Twitter at VM reviewer 86 as well or on Instagram at VM reviews um, Please subscribe and thanks for watching.